All right, so here's the difference between the two seats. The right one's from a Jetta Wolfsburg, and this one's, of course, from the R32. You can see the leather is totally different. It's like stiff and hard on the R32, much darker. And this is more of a soft, perforated type of material. And, you know, this is leather all the way around where this is cloth on the sides. One thing we had to do was on this connector here on the R32, you can see the top row is all pinned. The bottom row has a space between those pins, and that wires the black and red one there. So on the Jetta seat, those two pins were next to each other, so we had to move that over one space. And once we did that, the power option started working and the heater started working, which we're going to get into now, because it's just very interesting here. So if you saw my last video, I did the seat belt repair on the R32C and then just happened to come across this one free, so... So just to clarify, this has nothing to do with the seat belt. That's not why I'm switching these seats. So if you're familiar with the R32 seat, you have your lever here to fold it forward to get in and out of the back seat, which the Jetta doesn't have, obviously, four-door car. On the R32, you control the back of your seat rest with that twist knob. And on the Jetta, it's controlled by this power lever here. So it's a power backrest. And on the R32, you control the lumbar support in the back seat with the uh, power button, so it's like the opposite, where this controls the lumbar support on this one. And this one's also heated in the backrest, which the R32 isn't, I just figured that out, weird. So they both go up and down, and R32 seats for sale, if anybody wants them, front and back, full set, heated, works, no rips, nice, nice. All right, so this is the first time driving since I've had the Jetta seat installed in the R32, and it's way better. Other than the rip on the seat, as far as comfort and controls. So the seatbelt's on a firm post and there's no flex to it. Whereas the R32 seatbelts are, you know, floppy. So when you buckle up, this is always pulling against your leg. Where on this one, it doesn't touch you. So it's way better there. You know, you don't have this plastic buckle against your leg. So Jetta seatbelt, better than the R32 seatbelt. So onto the side bolstering here. So you can see it's different and it's more aggressive at the lower part on the R32 seat there but as it tapers up there's like more cushion here it's definitely a lot softer the Jetta seats compared to this which is like not soft so my sides I'll show you in a second I guess it's just I'm too skinny but my sides don't really touch these and the Jetta seat is much more like I'm touching both sides when you turn and there's a little bit of cushion here when you turn. Much better. Having the rear of the seat heated is a big plus compared to the R32. So the R32 seat's definitely a lot harder. Like it's not soft at all and cushiony. So I can fit my arm between my side and this cushion here. So if I were one arm width wider, maybe these would be good seats. I can go that much before I hit the sides on the R32 seat. And here you can see the R32 seat belt, which just goes against your side anytime you're buckled in. I'll show you that. So I've never sat in the passenger seat of my R32 before and buckled in. So now there's like a tab on this thing that I've never noticed. Why is this here on the seat belt? Does anyone else have that? It doesn't have one on the driver's side. That's interesting. But yeah, so when you buckle that in, it goes right against your side. So that flexibility is definitely what caused the wires to fail on that seat, which is like unrelated to why I'm switching it. I already fixed the wires, that seat's good, 100%. But on the Jetta seat where it has this solid, where the buckle doesn't move, that's, you know, the wires would never go bad. So it's just a better setup. Um, as far as the power options, like I said, having lumbar support on the knob and tilt on the electric is way better than having tilt on the knob and lumbar on the electric like that's so backwards because you're gonna use the recline way more often than the uh, lumbar it probably has to do with two door versus four door so you have that quick you know fold it forwards but then your seats all out of position anyways and it never goes back so when you slide it all the way forward and tilt it all the way forward there's still room to get in the back I could climb in the back through here so I've honestly never even put the seat like this with the R32 seat because it would take so long to screw it and crank it all the way down. But now you can totally lay down in your R32 and then just electric your way back up and it's way better. 
So why did I change the R32 seat to a Jetta seat? I don't know really, because it was free and it's been interesting to learn the differences in the two seats. So even with that rip in there, I don't care. Big fan of the Jetta seats. You don't see that rip when you're sitting on it. And we only had to change one wire to switch it over. So not bad, not bad, pretty happy with that.